Hello there. Welcome to Tech and Cash. How are you all doing today? So this is a post game review. I haven't done one of this for a while, so I thought I would give it a try. Um, pretty good starting hand here. Got the wood duck and the robin. Um, not a lot of decision there. Um, basically going for a forest engine here. Um, so for the bonus card, I have the fishery manager and the food web expert. Honestly, typically I would go for the fishery manager just because. Um, but recently my friend Mother Love on the tournament server have been going round and round about food web expert being really good. I mean, I have had a couple games where I you know, lost to an opponent because they got like 8 or 10 points on Food Web Expert unexpectedly. So, just feeling cheeky, so thought I would give it a try. And the end of round goal here are really great for a wood duck game here because there are birds in wetland, birds in forest, and total bird. Um, those are the end of round goal that with a wood duck you're going to be really competitive for. Um, end of round goes that really eggs heavy, like eggs in habitat or eggs in, in nest. Those are not great for wood duck because if you're if you're running a wood duck, um, typically you won't have a good grassland engine to get a lot of eggs. And I just make a first mistake there, um, pretty rookie mistake, but I guess I'll make it here. <laughs> as an example for everyone. Um, really, I should play the robin here before I play the wood duck. Um, because, you know, you use the wood duck to draw cards, and then you can use the robin to tuck and draw. So, I'll be missing quite a few points here, um, just because of that one mistake. Look, yeah. If we reverse that position, if I have the robin first, then I could have get cards from the wood duck and tuck it under robin. But now <laughs> I have to skip the robin. This is um, pretty bad. I shouldn't have made that mistake there. And, and it really cost me because with the wood duck, I have to discard one card. And whatever card that I keep, I almost certainly gonna tuck on the robin as well. <laughs> so basically I drew those two cards, um, but I couldn't play any of them. Because I don't want to miss out on points for tucking. My opponent got a Tauhi there, which is pretty nice. Um, and look at this. Th this was an interesting point. So I drew the Raven, you know, I paused a little bit and thought about this. Like, do I want to pivot to Grassland? Um, the thing is, I, I have no wetland at all. If I want to pivot, I, I would need to have a wetland. In this case, maybe the Merganser. I just kind of decided that since I already have the robin in the forest, um, I was just gonna go all in with the forest here. Um, wasn't sure if that was absolutely the right decision, but at that point, like it, it just feel right to me. Um, especially after I drew the great horn owl, and then I was like, I can play the eight points bird. Um, my forest is not looking bad. Yeah, I felt like if I want to pivot to the grassland, I need the mergangster, I need the raven. Um, the setup is just gonna be a little bit slow. And I, I and I and I yeah, and I have to gamble on getting a second like grassland engine bird. Meanwhile I have two um, point scoring bird in the forest so to speak. Not the greatest, um, you know, two points in the forest is nothing. Um, but the great thing is you're getting food and you're getting cards. Yeah, that, that was unfortunate that I also lost the first end of round go after I just talked about how Wood Duck should be really competitive for that. 
Um, just couldn't draw a good wetland bear to justify playing, I guess. Alright, the egret here, definitely eyeing on that when you're running a strong forest engine. Um, any double bird is going to be great because, you know, you can easily turn food into point using those. And the egret is like 7 points. And the chipping sparrow show up. We'll love to have the chipping sparrow as well. Um, that would really complete my forest engine so I can get food, cards, and eggs. Um, yeah, that would be... It would be really nice to have egg laying bird in the in the forest. I think my my opponent is contemplating whether to deny that chipping sparrow, and they did. Um, but the the mocking bird or was it the cat bird? The cat bird show up. I was like, yeah, the cat bird is not a bad idea. Um, continue to build on my forest engine there. And here I'm running into the problem with the wood duck engine. I, I have no eggs and I need two eggs just to play the um, just to play the cat bird here. So decided to go with the bunting here, five points, it's not the worst. And um, the thing is with one one bird down in the grassland, I can exchange one food for eggs, so I can gain three eggs instead of two. Um, yeah, with what I'm running, like an extra eggs is gonna make a difference here. And I can also pick up a cherry using my bun thing to play my cat bird, so. I'm going really all in here. So my opponent got the crow and tohi. That's a pretty nice engine too. So they get two food in a grassland. And they just play the white throat the swift which is how which allow you to tuck a card and lay an egg i pretty much can guess that they have either the kill deer or raven uh kill deer or franklin's goal and yeah when they play the swift because there's no way they have enough cards to tuck under the swift with their wetland there so that was kind of expected um kind of unfortunate that i have to tuck that um those two big wetland birds, those would have been really great to couple with the egret to make a lot of points. At this point I was thinking maybe I'll even go for egret and bran to get some extra cards. I mean that's one thing about running wood duck too, sometimes you, you, you can be short of cards because you're only gaining one card per activation and once you play it you're off cards and especially if you have a tuck and draw in the in the forest um yeah shortage of card is a problem um even with wood duck so birds like the brand is actually not a bad idea some sometime just so that you can get extra card um to to just kind of switch around and it can be useful to say you know you you got the you 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 say you got some tuck and draw bird um that you can pivot to the grassland then the brand can help you gain card that um you can use to tuck in the grassland um looking at the Spotted Sandpiper here as well because I have the Flute Web Expert, so that's seven points. Um, unfortunately, I, I hunted the Ren there, would have been nice to build up my grassland. Um, so the Peleated Woodpecker here is interesting. So again, it would, it would really complete my Forest Engine here um, if I play that, but I'm once again running into the problem. I only have one eggs and I need two eggs to play that pelated woodpecker. Um, so
with the with the pileated woodpecker and catbird, it, it's a decent forest engine. I'm not gonna say it's the greatest, um, because I'm also giving my opponents cards. So, um, if you look at it, even if I have the catbird, um, the pileated woodpecker is net one point, and then the catbird, whichever that I repeat, is also net one point. And Robin is one point, so that's a three points engine with Owl, which is hunting. Um, so say four points. Um, my opponent's engine easily score more than four points um, with that tuck and lay and four eggs. Um, I mean they're not that far ahead with. Oh, now they have the Hawks too. Yeah, so they they have like a four, five, six points minus some eggs that they spend. Um, they are definitely a point or two ahead in terms of engine. So uh, I, I'm definitely getting a little bit worried here um, with my end game here. Um, we are, we're at the end of round three. I don't have a grassland, not really have a lot of big points bird here. Um, the oyster catcher is nice because of the food web expert. And yeah, the only bird that I have going, so they also right now my opponents have eight birds. They just play, was that eight? But, oh, look at this. Um, so we have the counter or the large bird specialist. Um, decided to go with the large bird because of egret and the oyster catcher play um, that will push me to five and then hopefully I play another one and get it to six. Um, so they, ha they have eight birds right now and I have seven. So I'm gonna do double play that brings me to um, nine. And they're most likely gonna play another bird. So it is kind of unfortunate that even with the wood duck, you know, I, I lost the first end of round and I also <laughs> I also tied for the third end of round there, so missing some points there. <laughs> and that was a really unfortunate um, draw with the oyster catcher here. All the birds um, there were less than four points, four points or less. Um, took the goal because it, 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 it is large bird so was hoping that I can play that to score the large bird specialist um, yeah if my opponent just keep running their engine I think they have a very good chance of winning here just because I, I don't have a lot of point scoring potential here with my forest and my grassland is only three points right now. So um, looking at the tray, I'm definitely looking at any big points burst. So the road runner, you know, seven points, I'll take it. Um, adding one extra birds in the grassland is, is gonna push me to say four eggs. That's gonna worth a lot. Um, and yeah, good thing I still have the road runner. I saw that they took the canvas back so I think they're trying to compete for the fourth end of round go here all right uh, really need some good card draw here um, this is probably the last turn I'm gonna take food and activate my forest so I decided to repeat my Robin to see if I can get um, big birds or big points bird the Harrier could be the one that you know that I play to score large bird specialists. Um, the swallow day would have been nice with the foot web expert, but I hunted it. Getting the swallow instead, which also satisfy the um, the 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 foot web expert. But obviously the problem is it's a one point bird. Um, that's really not what you want to play in round four. But it does have a star nest, so potentially if I play that, I can, I can potentially win a, when the end of round goes here. 
So there's a couple option options here. Um, I can play the Road Runner. Um, which is pretty obvious because it's a six points play. Um, and then next, I still need a large bird. So I can either play um, the ring bill goal. Um, so that's three plus four, that's seven, minus one, eight, that's six points. Or I can also play the Harrier. Um, with the Harrier, it's one point less and I have to spend extra eggs but it does unlock the fourth eggs for me and when I activate my grassland I can hunt so I think they're about comparable um, so I was counting the the, the bonus um, I think they have three and then they're gonna play um, their they're going to play their canvas back to make it to five. So I'm looking at this, you know, I... I, I wasn't sure. I, I think my thinking is that if they play the canvas back, I can play the swallow to win the end of round goes there. Um, yeah, they did. So they have four and have four right now with bond swallow is five. Again, it, it, it's not clear to me, you know, if I lay it twice, that's eight points. If I play the bond swallow, um, if I play the bond swallow, that that was food web expert, so that's three points minus one eight, so that's one point. Plus winning the end of round go from tie to winning, I think it's three points swing. That so that's four points. Um, and four points because I unlocked that last eggs here, um, turning that food into eggs. So that's five. So four plus five is nine already. And I get to tuck. So that's ten. Um, and then this hunt was unsuccessful, but I got one. So that was ten plus one, eleven points. So I think playing that barn swallow ended up um, being a better option than lay eggs twice. Um, it was very close. Alright, I ended up winning quite handily in this game. was pretty happy about it. Um, so my opponent got the um, Falconer. So they score 4 points there and the Wildlife Gardener, which is pretty nice. Um, that's why... They play the canvas back, so that was worth it for them. Yeah, I think overall just a interesting game. Started with the forest engine and drew the raven at one point. Was deciding, you know, whether to pivot. Um, I, I think it works out fine that I did not pivot, and then some optimization at the end of the game. There, um, it was kind of strange to play the harrier and the swallow. They're both low points, but um, because of the bonus card, they're kind of worth it. Um, yeah, in any case, I hope you enjoyed watching this video. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.